My name is Nicole Bassett and I am the Social Responsibility Manager here at Patagonia. Um, and what that means is that I sort of oversee our supply chain with regards to um, working conditions and social responsibility. Um, Patagonia has been a company that's always been very aware of working conditions and has sourced our product with, I would say, quite a high level of integrity, especially around the fact that quality has been very important to us and one of our core values. So we always had an awareness of social responsibility, but in the late 90s, it became a lot more formalized at the company and this position was created so that we could be more um, of a liaison with what's going on out there around the issues of working conditions in the globally. Um, so I, while we're, Patagonia is a member of the Fair Labor Association, I liaise with them and the different stakeholders there. Um, I also am involved with um, some of the sourcing decisions to when we bring new factories into our supply chain, what are the conditions like there, what are their values, that sort of thing. And then also another key part of um, my position is to oversee the monitoring of a lot of our facilities um, with regards to social responsibility and that's done through a social audit. Because Patagonia is such a small company, we don't actually have internal auditors that will go out and visit factories with, specifically around social auditing. So we contract out to third party companies to do the audits for us. And what happens during a social audit is to get an understanding of what the working conditions are like on a lot of different levels. So an auditor will go into a facility and they'll meet with management and they'll review different records inside the company, payroll, policies, sickness, benefits, that sort of thing. They'll also do a tour of the facility at health and safety to see if there's any chemicals that are exposed, any sort of risk to workers in any of the production. And then they also do worker interviews. Some people do them off-site, some people just do it off the production line just to get an idea um, directly from the workers. Is there anything you want to talk about? Is there any issues? And then they kind of cross-reference stuff with payroll if a worker says, you know, over time. So the idea of a social audit is to get an understanding of what the the conditions are and to be aware if there's any incidents of perhaps um, non-compliance to law or to code of conduct. My name is Alex Kaufman and I'm the Director of Operations for Global Standards. Uh, we're an organization or a company you could say that focuses purely on social auditing. The goal is that there is continuous improvement of the factories involved. I think that's the most, you could say, the key aspect of an audit. And also one of the more difficult things to explain to the factory. I mean, really auditing is not about a pass or a fail on an audit, but it's about how to continually improve uh, the management's relationship with the workforce and how to make it a mutual, mutually beneficial activity for both. I mean, because workers can, as workers become more productive, um, the, the factory will get a financial benefit and if you provide the um, circumstances or the con good working conditions you can make it more comfortable and workers are more happy and, and, and possibly indirectly more, more productive. The bigger factories have improved because they, they, you know, they have long-term relationships with a lot of these customers so then they have, you know, after many audits they've gotten you know, tired of uh, having a, a conflicting process and they've been more proactive in setting up systems or seeking like a certification. The responsibility of the brand at the factory level is really to uh, maintain a long-term relationship with the factory, but this is part of the problem in the whole nature of what is this, um, you could say this change in uh, how brand name companies are operated, that is they are mainly research, development and marketing companies. So they don't want to own the process, right? They don't want to own the manufacturing because that's a very expensive overhead cost. So then what they can do is move from factory to factory depending on the style or different requirements or cheaper labor. But in order for social compliance to work, they need to develop a long-term relationship with the, with the factory. And that may mean a commitment um, in terms of a certain quantity of product. Now that may conflict with the purchasing department in the firm. So this, this is where the challenge is.